Welcome to Cardinal Country. I'm Chelsea Johnson. And I'm Justin Walters. Today we're going to look at the food prep class here at FHS. Have you taken food prep? No, I haven't, but I'm curious to see what it would be like. Well, let's take a look at this story put together by Brittany, Kaylee, and Dylan. I'm here with Mrs. Tonder, and we are going to be talking about food prep. What is food prep, Ms. Tonder? Uh, well, food prep is a high school class. It's uh, the first level of... Um, of foods and we talk about the food pyramid and um, after we talk usually about a Friday we make sure that we have a lab and so they can learn in the kitchen how to make those foods. How long have you been teaching this class? Uh, this is my fourth year at Fairmont and so I've been teaching it for four years. How do you encourage people to join this class? Well it starts with FACT 7 and most of the high schoolers or all the high schoolers took FACT 7 and they have a three week unit on food and nutrition. FACT 8 we try to squeeze in a couple foods labs and so hopefully they'll enjoy those and if they do they'll sign up for food prep. Anything else you'd like to add? Well if someone really enjoys food prep I also have food prep too and food prep too the first nine weeks we talk about different cultures and then they get to choose their own recipes and the second quarter then we continue on with the food pyramid and cover the ones that we weren't able to cover in food prep. Well, thanks, Ms. Tonder. This is Dylan Klug signing off. That's interesting. I wish I would have taken that class because I like to cook in my free time. What do you like to do in your free time? Well, one of my favorite things to do to relax is play pool. That's cool. Some fellow students here at FHS enjoy playing pool, too. Here's a story about two students who competed in a billiards tournament. Hi, my name is Alex Kruger. I'm here today interviewing Marcus Lee about his pool tournament this weekend. So how long have you been playing pool and how did you get into it? Uh, I've been playing for about five years, four years roughly. Um, <clears throat> I started when I was probably 13. Uh, a friend of mine, Tyler Catava, you know, his stepdad was in it a lot. And um, he, got, he got Tyler into it and then Tyler decided to get some teammates and I was friends with him at the time and we just said, why not? So we did it and it seemed to be one of the best things that's ever happened. Cool. What is your greatest accomplishment playing pool? Probably winning. Um, every year there's a New Zealand team that comes to our world tournament, and we beat them for fifth place in the world. So there's two. And another one is probably me getting first place at state to become the state champion. How did you train to become a state champion? Well, a lot of hard practice and dedication constantly, three hours a day. I didn't really have a life, just sat in my basement and, you know, Played pool all day. What, where is your future in pool leading you? Um, well, hopefully when I go to college, I'll be able to scrounge up some money for rent. And uh, it's just, you know, it's just a fun game to keep me young. What is the significance of your cue and the setup of that cue? Well, my cue is, uh, it's got, there's different cues, and a lot of cues are made overseas. And my cue is made in America, which is a lot of significance because the different um, steps it goes into making a cue, they have different inlays. And uh, my, I have about 287 inlays in my cue, and um, I got a custom made uh, butt end of the cue, and the shaft is all redone, the tip's redone, everything's just, it takes a lot, and a lot of people don't know how, how important a cue really is, but it's probably one of the most important things you can have during a pool match. All right, well, thank you. I'm Alex Kruger. I'm here with Tyler Catavo about his pool tournament. So how long have you been playing pool? Well, I've been playing pool since I was about four years old. When I was uh, not tall enough to see over the table, I would drag a chair around and jump on the table and make my shots. And uh, my stepdad is the one that actually got me into it and kind of just went from there and stuck with it. So what does a pool match consist of? Well, if you're playing team, you have... Well, there's three people on your team, and you play another team that has three people also. So you play each team, teammate, once, and uh, you you can get eight points uh, or ten points uh, a round. Three ball, or the eight ball where it counts as three points, and then uh, the other balls just count as one. So then you just tally up how many balls you made, and if you made the eight ball, you get ten. And then you just score it, and then uh, whoever has the most points at the end, you win. So, yeah. Cool. And, um... How did you guys do this weekend? Well, this this weekend we had our uh, our state tournament in Mankato, 
And uh, it started out pretty rocky. We ended up losing our first match, which we didn't expect to lose at all. And uh, we ended up coming back and got in the championship, which we were in the loser bracket, so we had to beat them twice. And we ended up losing, so we got second place. But and then in singles, we all were all close to the finals, which is surprisingly we usually are always in the finals. But uh, there's a lot of good shots up there this year, and didn't do as well as we planned on, but it turned out good. Well, congratulations to them getting second. This is Alex Cougar signing off for Cardinal Country. Wow, it looks like those guys put in a lot of effort to get where they are today. Do you know what some other students here at FHS put their time and effort into? Well, along with schoolwork, I know a lot of students participate in school-sponsored activities. Let's take a look and see how our school athletes are doing. Thanks, Justin and Chelsea. Card Sports entered yet another week in the spring season. Track competed in a few meets recently. The guys and girls both improved their records to 9-1. and one. Baseball upped their records to 8-3 and three after the wins against Wasika and St. Peter. Softball recently played Wasika and St. Peter, resulting in the record of 0-9 so far on the season. Boys tennis wrapped up this week after competing with several area rivals, rounding their record to 6-4. and four. Boys golf moved up with a record of 9-2, and two, and the girls' side, they are at 5-5. Five and five. Now here's a look at next week's event schedule. Good job so far to all the spring athletes out there, and keep up the good work. Back to you, Justin and Chelsea. It looks like our student athletes are doing a great job. Well, that's all for this episode of Cardinal Country. Be sure to tune in next week. Thanks for watching. See you next time.